हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आशीष सैनी फ्रॉम इनोवेट योर सेल्फ वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज कंफ्यूजन मैट्रिक्स एंड हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू यूज इट विद रासा चैटबॉट सो व्हाट इज कंफ्यूजन मैट्रिक्स एंड व्हाई वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इट विद रासा चैटबॉट राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वट इज कन्फ्यूजन मैट्रिक्स so a confusion matrix is a table that is often used to describe the performance of a classification model on a set of test data for which the true values are known so in short what happens here is the confusion matrix is the summary of a prediction result on a classification problem so in here what we are going to do is whatever chatbot or whatever type of chatbot that you are going to make in that case you are having some intent value you are having some entity values and similarly you are having the responses for your chatbot so here when you got some intent value with respect to that intent value whether your chatbot was able to response or let's say whether your chatbot was able to give the proper response right so this is what a confusion matrix is in here what we will do is we will just check whether your chatbot is giving reply according to the story or not if it is giving according to the story then your confusion matrix will give the proper value otherwise you will get a wrong values or let's say the values at the wrong place so this is what your confusion matrix is and also it allows easy identification of the confusion between the classes for example one class is commonly mislabeled as the other so this is what i explain right now if the chatbot got the intent name and with respect to that intent name if your chatbot is not replying properly at that time what will happen is it will not give the proper value or let's say it will give you the mislabeled values right so this is what your confusion matrix is and how we are going to check it in your rasa chatbot and how it is helpful for us right so for that i have to go to the program so that we can apply it on our existing chatbot right so this is an existing chatbot in which we have added few features but now what i want to do is i want to check like what is the accuracy of my model or let's say what is the accuracy of this chatbot right because chatbot is what this is a robot right this is not a human being so i want to check like how much accurately your chatbot will give you the values so for that what i have to do is i have to test my model like in the beginning what i have done i have already trained the model and for that trained model i am having this model right so this is my trained model which i am using here to just check whether my chatbot is working properly or not if it is working properly then you are getting the correct result and if in case you are not getting the correct result at that time it will provide you some wrong values till now we haven't met that stage but don't worry we will see that in future definitely but for now let's check how to resolve that if in case we will get such kind of a situation right so for that what i have to do is i have to open the terminal with the same environment which i am using till now right in which i will be having all the packages or let's say all the libraries installed for your rasa chatbot and here you have to type rasa test so what this will do is this will test your model or let's say this will test both your models rasa nlu as well as the rasa core so you will get the values for both of it now just press enter after that what will happen is this will create few files or let's say this will create a directory in which you will be having few files right and what are those files that i will explain you once this is done so let it done first so your testing is done now let's see what has happened here now let's go to the top like here you can see when you have entered this command it has trained both your model rasa nlu as well as rasa core so right here you can see rasa.core.test so what it is doing is it is just testing your rasa core part and with respect to that what it is showing you it is showing you like how many Uh, values or let's say how many results it has checked for and how many are correct so this is the total value and this is the correct values right now 
we are not having uh, data in bulk so at that time we are having all the correct values and similarly i am having this f1 score which is 100 percent this is the precision which is 100 percent accuracy is also 100 percent because we are getting the correct results for all of it similarly we are having this as well this is telling you about the story like how many story you have in total and how many stories were correct right similarly how many questions you are having and how many questions are correct so this is the total one this is the correct one so this is how you're going to calculate the accuracy accuracy for your stories accuracy for your complete questions so this is what we have to check here and from here you can check like how many correct values you are having and how many are not giving you the correct value so on the basis of that what you can do is you can just test your model or let's say on the basis of that you can improve your model right so this is all about your core part similarly now we are having the nlu part and for this nlu part you will get this confusion matrix right and your confusion matrix will give you the value something like this right and here you can see this is just giving you an array or let's say this is just giving you a matrix right and here it is not very clear like what is happening and what is these values right so for that uh, i will not explain you here for that this is your matrix actual matrix right so let's go here now here you can see you have created one folder when you have just tested your bot you have got this result folder and inside this folder you are having these files right so first one is the conf mat which is the confusion matrix in this you will be having your confusion matrix values and here let me clarify you what is this actually like here you can see this is first one a form this is talking about your intent name so a form is an intent similarly a form is an intent right so this value will tell you like how many affirms or let's say how many questions are related to the affirm value and affirm is simply just yes yeah something like this right so this is all about the affirm and this is telling you like how many yes you got in total and how many are correct this is the correct value and if in case you are not having the correct value or it is predicting at the wrong place so it will just mark that value or let's say it will mark that number at this particular location if in case that is correct and suppose it has marked some value over here let's say one has been set it here so in that case what is this position this position is all about mood underscore unhappy so this means when you have said yes it has predicted wrong value and it has predicted that wrong value when you have got this particular intent so from here you can correlate like where you are doing some wrong part right so this is how your confusion matrix actually work so if in case you want the 100 percent result at that time all the values should be in the diagonal like this right so right now i'm having the 100 percent accuracy that is why i'm having all the values in the diagonal part and there is no such value all around on the left or the right right so this is how your confusion matrix actually works now just close this and let's check for the other files like here is one more thing fail story sometimes what happens is you have created so many stories as some are getting overlapped or some are getting confused in between each other because maybe you have added intent name one in one story second one with the same name in the second story so what is happening is it is getting confused like which one should i call right so at that time what will happen is it will start predicting the wrong intent value so let's say it will start predicting the wrong answers right so when i will click on this right now all the stories was correct and there was no confusion in between so that's why all story passed if in case i have the wrong stories or well, let's say if in case it is predicting the wrong values at that time what will happen it will just display it here right so this is how it is gonna work similarly you're having the histogram for this in this you will get the confidence level for all the values so let's say all the number of samples that you are having with you so this is the confidence value this is the number of samples that you are having with you blue one means you have uh, predicted it correctly and red one means 
you haven't uh, added it or let's you haven't predicted it correctly and the confidence level for that is not that good so that's why it is predicting the wrong value so this is how it's gonna happen and it is working right here right so this is how it works similarly you're having this crf entity values in this you will get the complete json format according to the entity extraction right but right now we don't have any entities so that's why i cannot explain you here when you will have this then we will get back to this again and here you have this intent underscore report dot json so this is a json file in which it will give you the result or let's say it will give you the report for all your intent values about the intent names with how much accuracy it has been predicted right so when your asa chatbot will run at that time whatever sentence or whatever message you will pass right on the basis of that it will check like which intent has been called so according to that it will give you the accuracy of your intent values like with what accuracy your intent names has been called so this is how it is going to happen right so this is all about your results when you will get it after this rasa test right so when you will do this testing part you will get all these values in this format so this is how you're gonna check or let's say this is how you're gonna improve your model if in case you're not getting the very good accuracy in your rasa chatbot so this is the most important part which you should know like how to do it and this was it for today i hope all the things was very clear to you but still if you are getting any kind of a doubt or any queries regarding the topic then you can definitely leave a comment below in the comment section if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you are new to this channel then don't hesitate just click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any kind of a videos from me because i continuously make so many videos regarding to the new topics and i hope you will love all of it Till then, bye-bye and see you in the next video.